crash damaged cars. I'm assuming by you clicking on this video, you love them as much as I do. There's just something about a crash damaged car and bringing it back to its like former glory that I just get a buzz about. Now, as you guys know, I enjoy modifying them as much as I enjoy rebuilding them. But since I've rebuilt, modified, and given away my BMW M4, and now Hannah's Audi RS5 is back on the road, I'm itching for another project. But one question that comes up a lot is, where do we get all of these crash damaged cars from? But the simple answer to that question is, there's not just one set place. I get them from anywhere and everywhere. But today, I'm gonna to be bringing you guys with me to go car shopping in one of the more popular places called Copart. You may have heard of these before. Now, Copart is huge and there's loads of different branches dotted around the UK. In fact, dotted around the world. They sell loads of different crash damaged cars straight from auction, privately, well, pretty much anywhere. So, when buying one of them, just like buying a used car, you're taking a risk. But that's the sort of enjoyment I get out of buying and rebuilding these crash damaged cars. I've never actually been to a Copart. I've just bought cars from there and they've been delivered straight to me. So I'm really excited to actually go look around all the different crash damaged cars and uh, see if we can find something exciting and new for the channel. There's not anything particularly that I am looking for, but if something does pop up, then sure enough, we will be bidding on it. So let's head to Copart and let's see what sort of cars we can find there and well, let's see if anything pops up. Well, I gave you all my love and I gave you all my trust and I gave you everything that you need. But you only told me lies and you made me realize that, babe, you ain't no good for me. Okay, so here's the plan. The guys here have given us a little hour of walking around, having a little look around, see if we can see anything that I would like to sort of, uh, well, get my fingers into straight away. We're seeing this Range Rover right behind me, but we're going to have a look at a few other cars and maybe find something a little bit special and hopefully the next project for the channel. So uh, let's start off with the first car. Now, personally for me, Range Rover as well, uh, I'm not a huge fan. I'm not a huge fan. This one has been in, well, as you can see, a pretty bad front end accident. But for me personally, I'm not a huge fan of Range Rovers. Airbags have all gone off inside this one. Is it open? Yes, it is. So we've got the driver's airbag off, the curtain airbag on, but I don't know. This place is absolutely huge. It's impossible to find anything, but here is an S5. I'm not sure how well this would go with an RS5. It is the newest shape. This looks like something, well, quite, actually quite an easy repair, but again, suspension damage on here. Moving through. Oh, that is some nice interior on that one. No airbags either. Just got a thing for Audis, but this is an S5. We can't be having cars slower than Hannah's. Although the S5, the new S5 is quite quick. This one, obviously too quick for the previous owner. <laughs> nice little pick, but again, I don't think this one is right for the channel. I don't think this one's right for me, but it is a very nice car. Again, most of these cars that you're gonna see right now are available on Copa. This place is absolutely huge, it's massive, and I don't know whether it's like my sort of strange fetish or something, but I just love looking at crash damaged cars. It's just, it's just fun. <laughs> Okay, now this one I think is going to be a little favourite for us, the Golf R. I do truly miss my Golf R, but here is another Mark 7.5. Again, front end damage. I don't know if I could bring myself to actually do another one of these. We know the situation with headlights and me as well, so I don't know how well that will go. But again, this looks like a 2017 plate, Mark 7.5, Golf R. It's in this sort of, well, is it Lapis Blue? I can't remember the colour. Damage to the wing. Damage to the bonnet, it looks like it's hit something pretty bad here, but, oh, it has put the airbags out. It's got, we've got a curtain airbag. It is a DSG as well, which is absolutely brilliant. And you know what, it actually smells quite good in here. I don't know if I could actually bring myself to do another Golf R and do all the airbags. It feel like I could be sort of going back again, but this should, this would be actually a nice little project for someone. Nice color as well, but yeah, that is a, a nice little project car this Golf R. But again, I don't think this is the one. But after hunting around the courtyard for a while, we found this hidden gem inside the warehouse. Okay, 
so after looking around everywhere, I think we found a hidden gem. It's not often you see stuff like this at the auction, but when they do come up, they're normally good ones. Now, cars like this, Lamborghini, SV, they're, normally, they're never normally been in small accidents, nor in big accidents, but the good news with this, it's rear, rear engine, well, it's not really good news, it's rear, it's rear engine and the accident's been at the rear. Come check this out. Okay, so it's definitely had a rear end crash. There's no, well, there's completely no suspension left on the rear. All the suspension arms are bent. Bad news, it has carbon ceramic brakes front and rear, so you just know that's gonna be extortionate before you even start on the rear. Not even any calipers left on it. Do still have a lot of the cables for the brakes. Some have been sheared away. I mean, that bottom arm is completely bent. It looks like it's taken a hit from the side. I mean, there's all tire marks here off something. The good thing about the SVs is all these rear quarters are actually like bolt on, bolt off repairs and actually just doing a little quick eBay scout, it's fairly, it's not that difficult to find and they're not too bad. Like a rear quarter on this SV is like 770 pound second hand. So it's not as bad as what some people may think, but it's the little things that all add up. Example, these rear lights and rear lights are gonna be an absolute fortune for these. This is one's cracked here. <laughs> Even the, even this, this is a little handle for the door, but that, that'll be worth a fortune in itself, so that's definitely got to stay, stay there. And then there's no rear light on there. And there's the stuff that's gonna be, well, a lot more expensive than actually people think. I'll probably put it on the screen now. What were the price of a rear light of Lamborghini SV? The spoiler looks like it's okay. No damage here, but look at the state of this. And this thing could be absolutely Insane, so far, I can't see any sort of engine damage. Potentially though, we might be able to get this thing started up. It looks like the full car has been PPF'd. It's not gonna save you from an accident, but it is gonna save you from a few crashes. On the fair, no damage on the front at all, so. Oh, it has damage, you've got front splitter damage. Oh no. So actually getting the car, you have to have it, the battery's gotta be powered, obviously the battery's completely flat, so. By opening it, it's a button, you can't press that, but there is a manual overload here, which that handle that I show you at the back of the car, that's what this cover goes on. And again, I'll probably put the price on the screen right now. Imagine how much one of these are. So that thing at the back is probably saving people a small fortune. And this handle pulls down like that. That's the manual switch. The window is then supposed to drop because the doors go up on this thing, but the window is not dropping because we've got no power to the battery, so the roof has got to come off. It just comes off like that. Will it go past this? No, it won't. We're gonna need battery power. <laughs> it would be cool to see if we can actually start this thing up. It does say on Copart it's got a engine start program, which means that the car does start and it runs. Um, they also have things on there which say if they drive or not. Obviously this one doesn't drive, it's got no rear axle on the right hand side. But it would be cool to get this started. So check back you in two seconds if we can get a battery pack on. So whilst the guys at Copart went to go and get the jump leads, I wanted to remind you guys that if you are thinking about buying a crash damaged car or a used car, always get it checked out by using Car Vertical first. Car Vertical is currently working in more than 20 different countries. It gathers data from various national registries, insurance companies, car manufacturers, car sale websites, crash car auctions, and car maintenance databases as well. Just check this Lamborghini Gallardo for sale right here. It's listed as damaged and repaired. Now if I go into Car Vertical, enter the registration, I can then get a full report on it. And I can see we've got a green tick for no mileage fraud, a green tick for no theft, but we have an amber light for an accident. As I scroll down the report, I can see the mileage is all in line, but here's where it's flagging up the damage. And actually what's really cool, I can actually see the photos of when the car was damaged at the auction yard. And just to show you what a good report looks like, here's my Lamborghini Gallardo, everything all green at the top, all the mileage is in line and no reports for damage. So to check your car with car vertical or a car that you're potentially about to buy, click the link in the description box below. And with my link, you're gonna save yourself 10%. So whilst the guys were still getting the jump leads ready on the SV, I managed to find some more parts for it. Okay, and the wheel has been found. Yeah, this is definitely 
beyond repair. Oh my days, look at the carbon disc as well. Well, we do have like the handbrake caliper and the brake caliper on there as well. So that could save a fortune. This is obviously gonna come with the car, but yeah, drive shaft has been completely pulled out. Wishbone is gone as well. But the good news is the caliper is all intact, but the, yeah, the brake disc is, well, that, the, <laughs> the brake disc is long gone. And what a shame about the wheels. And then came the Toyota Yaris, which we'll be using to jumpstart the Lamborghini SV. First time I've ever seen something like this before. Now I started getting really excited about this SV, so I wanted to find out what Hannah thought of it. I think, I think it, is, it is good. I do, it's but... It's nice. You know, we could also buy a house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think someone needs to tell Hannah that house doesn't sound anywhere near as good as a Lamborghini naturally aspirated V12. Window's gone down. And yes, the door is up, and we are good. Let's see if we can start this thing. This is definitely going to be a deal breaker, whether it starts or not, but my bank account could be absolutely getting it <laughs> if this starts. Right, come on. Key in the slot there. Come on. Gonna give it a second. So whilst the ignition was actually coming on, the car was just refusing to start, but we thought this was because the battery was a little bit low on charge. So we gave the Yaris a bit of a rev, and sure enough... <laughs> Okay, so this could become expensive now. So straight away, straight away on the dash, we've got uh, obviously low cooling, all the brake pad lights and everything like that. But the good news, no oil light or oil pressure light or anything like that, which is the good news. And the engine sounds absolutely sweet as well. It runs, I'm so it's sure. fine. It's mainly cosmetic, I would say, with a few little mechanical issues here and there, but the main issue is that the engine is running pretty well. A few lights on the dash and nothing that can't be sort of fixed. But no, this is definitely looking very good. This looks like PPF PO1 here, but... Okay, what a gem that Lamborghini SV was. That is definitely, again, going to be stepping way out my comfort zone if we go for it. But what a build it will be if we can get that back on the road. Okay, so here it is right here on the Copart app. It actually has around nine days left on the auction. And right now, the bidding price is £115,000. This car is worth way over £250,000, but it is a Category S. So I don't know how well that's going to go when it comes to re sell someone who's going to buy a lamborghini like this would probably not want it categorized so uh, that's up for us to decide so a bit of a different video than usual but i hope you guys have enjoyed as much as i have enjoyed go for a little walk around the courtyard at copar and before we go high speed competitions are giving away another playstation 5 this time a disc edition the link's in the description box below if you fancy your chances on winning one of these but again thank you all so much for watching this video if you've enjoyed it hit that thumbs up button hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video peace out